and Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be creating a lovely Santa Claus using two art making mediums. One, we're going to be using some wax crayon, and second, we're going to be using either watercolor paints or temper pancakes. Use what you got! Um, yeah, and we're gonna need two pieces of paper, one white and one choice color. And I picked green, but you pick what you want. It's your art, add your own artist flavor, my lovely friend! So grab those art making mediums and join me as we create some super cool Santa art. Perfect for Christmas, of course. Let's make some art. All right, so we're gonna grab two pieces of paper for our Santa artwork. We're gonna need one white and a choice color for our background. I'm gonna do green. And we're gonna begin with our white paper, both in landscape orientation, or if you wanna try portrait, you can do that. But for the video, I'm gonna be doing landscape. It looks awfully nice on this camera. So here we go. We're gonna begin with Santa's head. So we're gonna do two little ears, one letter C on one side, and one letter C shape on the other side, but it's gonna be backwards for the other ear. In each one, we're gonna draw two smaller letter C shapes, and one in the middle for some ear texture. Next, we're gonna draw two tiny lines up, and we're going to draw some wavy lines to create some fluff. And we're gonna connect the top with some wavy lines as well. And that's gonna be some lovely Santa hat fluff. All right, next we're gonna, between the eyes, sorry, between the ears, we're gonna do eyes, but we're going to first do a nose so we can give Santa a nose and I'm just gonna do a nice simple nose but you can give your Santa any sort of nose that you would like. Next, we're going to do Santa's ears. So we're gonna draw a dot on either side of the nose, just like that. And then you're gonna take that dot and you're gonna turn and move that dot into a line to create a circle on either side of the face. You can give Santa some fluffy eyebrows. I like to give Santa fluffy eyebrows. And you can also put one smaller circle in each eye. And then you can go ahead and color in the eye, leaving that circle white. Now if you don't wanna use permanent marker to draw with, Alternatives are oil pastel, black pencil crayon or colored pencil, or black wax, black wax crayon. And those are going to allow for the medium to not blend. So if we use a washable marker, when we add water, when we paint, it's gonna blend and bleed into everything. So we don't want that, so we're just gonna use something that's a little bit more resistant to the water. All right, next we're gonna give a Santa beard. Now I like to give Santa a large beard and I'm gonna use my wavy lines that I used for the hat to make my beard. Look at that thing, it's huge. And you can give Santa any sort of beard that you want. And of course, I have a happy Santa, so I'm gonna give Santa a little smiley face and I like to add these little U shapes, letter U's in the corners here of the mouth for some added mouth detail, right? Because it pushes up our cheeks. We can get little corners in our mouths. Okay, next I'm gonna add a hat. So first I'm gonna draw a nice big curvy line up and over. Then from this side, I'm gonna go up in the opposite direction, just a little bit. And then from this point, we're gonna go up and connect to make a folded hat. And at any time that I'm going too fast or you wanna see a step again, make sure you hit that pause button and you can rewind me and watch me again over and over until you see the steps as needed. Okay, give your Santa a little pom-pom. 
on the tip of the hat and then you're gonna draw two lines down from Santa's beard to the bottom of the paper for Santa's shoulders and then just two little lines just to indicate that there are arms there. We just don't see everything. Maybe you wanna give Santa some buttons. It's up to you or you can add other choice details like maybe as a fluffy collar, whatever you want, whatever sort of Santa details, you can go ahead and give Santa some fun details. And then once you're done, you are ready to add some lovely playful color. So we're gonna be using our wax crayons and some paint for Santa. And then we're gonna also add some wax crayon to our background. So we're just going to lightly take our red and we're going to first just color parts of Santa's hat. So we're gonna color just part of it with red and then we're going to paint in the inside. So we're gonna go along the edges and we're gonna add some details. So we're gonna just color it in just like that. And that way we're gonna have a bit of a range of value. I'm just gonna go around the edges Add some color. My crayons always break in half, so I I can't keep them together. So I tend to just have a lot of well I have well now I have two red crayons. That's the cool thing about crayons. They're good till you can't hold them any longer. And I'm gonna do the same on the jacket. And then in the remaining space, I'm gonna add a choice line. So I'm gonna do swirly lines in the remaining space on the hat to add some line texture. And then I'm gonna do zigzag lines on the jacket to add texture that way. And they're not gonna be super obvious because we're gonna add paint on top. It's just gonna add some sort of underlying texture to make our Santa a bit more interesting and we're gonna have some unexpected details that way. And once you're done adding some lines, you can go ahead and add different sort of lines to your fluff with a gray or a blue. And I'm not going to do it on the beard. I'm going to leave the beard as is. And finally, I'm going to take a black wax crayon and I'm going to add some shading first around the eyes. Just coloring lightly in a little circle in the ear. And around the nose and under the mouth. Okay, and then finally, you can grab any choice color for Santa's skin color and color. You can go right over top of that black shadow, and we're going to color the skin because I often find it's a little bit too hard to find or make a skin color with paint that I think. I would like or makes sense. So pick whatever skin color you would like and color in your Santa and go right over top of that black. It'll blend it all together. Whatever skin color you would like. Okay, and once you're done, we're gonna go ahead and paint in our Santa. So we're gonna grab our paintbrush and our watercolor paints or temper paint cakes, whatever you're using. And first we're going to grab our red and we're gonna work from the top and go down to the bottom. And mostly we just need a bit of red. So we're gonna swirl, swirl, swirl in the red and we're gonna paint over the hat and it's gonna fill in any extra spots. And I'm just gonna only keep my paint in the red area. And you see all those little white areas just disappear. 
with the paint and you get this cool little resist effect with the lines there from the wax crown. Now as a wax crown pushes away or resists the paint. And I'm gonna of course do the same on the jacket. Got that nice lovely texture there. Beautiful. And finally I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue paint I'm gonna go along the bottom of the brim of the hat. One stroke there. Along the fluff, one stroke there. And along the bottom of the beard for a shadow. And the fluff on my jacket here. And that's it. Perfect. And once your Santa's done, you're just gonna put Santa to the side for now. And we're gonna grab our background, just like that. And we're gonna grab a white and we're gonna draw some snowflakes around the background. So we're gonna draw one, and it's gonna be faint. One, two lines, and then two out. So two vertical, two horizontal, and then we're gonna draw some diagonal lines that are a little bit shorter in the in-between spaces. At the top of each one, we're gonna draw a circle and that makes a snowflake. And we're gonna draw different sized snowflakes around our paper in the background. And we'll add a little bit of paint. And we'll cut out Santa and add him to this artwork. Vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, diagonal lines, and circles. Once you have enough snowflakes, grab that paintbrush and we're gonna grab some white paint or a choice color. You don't have to use white, but you can if you want. Or just pick a choice color and you can add some paint, whether it's dots or swirls, whatever you want. Add something nice around your background. And if you don't wanna do dots, like I said, you can try maybe some blue swirls. Whatever you wanna try. Make a mark and see what happens. If you wanna know what blue swirls look like, I can add a few in there. You can go right over top of the snowflakes because of course, wax crayon resists paint. Once you're done, you're gonna let both your Santa and your background dry. And once your Santa and your background are dry, you're gonna cut out Santa and you can choose to cut along the lines or leave a little bit of paper along the edge if you keep it nice and clean and tidy as you cut. And that will just add a little bit of contrast to your art. So if we do that, we gotta make sure we cut nicely so the lines are straight, not all. We don't want crazy hairy lines, right? We wanna cut so our lines are straight. We use one hand to hold and one hand to do the cutting and we use our hand to turn the paper as we cut. See, we use one hand to turn the paper as we cut. Okay, and then we can recycle the remaining paper 
And then we can place Santa on our background. Look how magical that looks. Separately, they're ne neither one is that exciting, but when we put two things together like that, we have different mediums all working together. Our artwork's pretty visually interesting, so it makes people want to look at it. They're going to think, whoa, look at all these different things that artist did. My Santa wasn't super dry, was it? That's okay, we're just going to put Santa where that is. There we go. Take two flat hands to press and hold. Two flat hands to press and hold. Make sure the glue goes through all the paper fibers on both Santa and your background. And once you're done, your lovely Santa artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library, so you'll get hundreds of art lessons, and then every single month, five new ones are added and it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos so make sure you go to artastickids.com hit the get started button and i will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month